Yeah, this is uh, where I wired this up. And uh, it went quick. Well, remember when I first had the spin indexer, I made up this wiring diagram to make it easy. And it was easy. But I added this um, this round thing that goes on there. It's a uh, 50-100 UF because uh, one of the legs on that round thing is long and the other leg is short and it has a stripe on it. Usually, well usually, let me say usually, they have a, a stripe on it. And the stripe has a little downward arrow indicating that's the negative side. So generally speaking, the short leg is the negative side and the long leg is the positive side because it gets hooked up one side's on positive and one side's on the negative and what I used this time was I used some ribbon cable I don't have any jumper wires on it which is uh, cleans it up quite a bit so I use this ribbon cable and I used a couple jumpers here for the motor and this is that that little round piece I just got it one leg into the positive and one leg into the negative So I just soldered these up last night, and it went quick. So I used the uh, power supply. I don't have an on-off switch, so I just plug it in, and it works or doesn't work. But uh, after I um, I put the shield on. I went over to the computer because there was no program in it. So this is from before also from the step indexer. You have to install the drivers into the Arduino to make it accept programs to make it work. So, you know, I just uh, I started the uh, Arduino program and I plugged it in and I was going through the process of trying to get it to recognize it and um, this one it, already, it it recognized it immediately I didn't have to download anything or do anything to it it already recognized it I don't know you know I guess they make different ones and some of them are blank and some of them are preloaded I don't I don't exactly know how that works but um so this is the stuff from before, yesterday. Still the same. I didn't change anything. So I just put these wires on last night because I wanted to try this out. And I got this device and the piece from before. And that gets bolted onto there. So I didn't I didn't mention yesterday that I put a inside of here underneath this piece of aluminum and this plastic piece I got the uh, like a little thrust bearing and uh, I sunk it into the aluminum piece and I just got it riding on the plastic I made a um, a washer for the plastic piece but I didn't put it in I just let it ride on the plastic piece right now because I would have had to glue it in this and that and 
you know, I just, you know, I just want to get this thing to rotate and make sure it works before I go too crazy and but anyway we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna plug this in right now there's nothing on there it's still got the plastic uh, cover on there so it might be a little bit hard to see So the lights on there, lights on there, got the screen lit up. Well, it says step mode, select mode, step. I guess you can't read it. Ah, there it is. So we're going to select something here well we'll go with by now you should know we'll go with four yeah, I don't know why. So anyway, uh, you know the buttons. I'm push. I'm just using the buttons right now. I didn't. It's not in a box or anything, you know. And but the the left and the right button. You know, I don't. I don't know which direction it goes. It just goes either way. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're just trying to make it rotate. Let's see, let me take this off. Then we'll go the other way. But anyway, that's uh, essentially it. I mean, it's uh, I got it set for when I put the program in. I had to put uh, the ratio, what did I say it was, 18 to 1 ratio. And I had it set to a number 2, like I did with the spin indexer. And I could have set it to number 1, which made it go faster. But, you know, it's, you know, because you, sometimes you just want to watch it rotate too, you know. You don't want to go too fast. Because if you're using the unit and, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you're, you're clearing all the cutters and this and that. And so you want it to go not too fast, but I mean, it's not going to go too fast because it's got a 18 to 1 gear reduction. So I think no matter what you do, it's not going to go too fast. But I mean, it seems to be going, I mean, it rotates and it's not terribly long so uh, I'm gonna leave it at that but I just wanted to show that to you and that's just with the motor controller and the shield and the Arduino and the power supply and uh, the uh, the drawing that I used before 
for the original spin in indexer was the uh, it was the step aligned motors and it just so happens that the color of the wires were the exact same color code and the same placement as the original when I first made this piece of paper so I just matched the um, I looked on the little chart they gave me you know with the motor they send you this little uh, this little chart it tells you about the, the amps and the volts and all that jazz then it down it comes down here to the the wires color codes on the wires so it looked like uh, the color codes were the same as the other motor and I so I hooked them up and it worked fine first time didn't have no trouble so that worked out really good and uh, yeah everything went smooth I got it together and what I'm thinking now is that you know I talked about taking this unit apart and putting that belt on there I gotta weave that belt there's a set of pulleys in the bottom of this thing I gotta weave it into those pulleys and what I thought about was maybe I'll, I'll put a little piece of wire on it and I can fish it around those pulleys and that way I don't have to take this apart right now because it's it's working good now and I hate to take it apart and then put it back together and find out I didn't put something together right and it's not working right and of course you know when you you know you're making this stuff designing it you got to have a a little bit of flexibility in there everything can't be you know high precision as to where this has got to fit with that it's got to be like a, a manufacturing tolerance you know this is this might not be perfect and this might not be perfect but when you put them together you know it's got to work so <clears throat> but nevertheless it's working good now so I think I'll just try to fish that uh, fish that belt into this channel into those set of pulleys down there and I can put this in the framework and make it go up and down and rotate and do what it's supposed to do and that'll be good because I still gotta I still gotta build a box to mount this in and mount that and uh, you know I got the, the the piece that rotates this on the bottom you know it's got that uh, pulse generator hand wheel and that's all got to be mounted also into something so we got a we got a long way to go but we've come a long way also so that's a good thing all right let me put the yeah, this is pretty heavy, but like I said, I got those thrust bearings on there. So I'm not too worried about it. That's going good enough. Not much more I can do with that. Alright, talk to you later.